virtually any list of movies filmed in Chicago or Chicago-based movies ranks near the top at least three films. The Blues Brothers, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and The Untouchables. Today, we are considering the latter. Well, what's the matter? Can't you talk with a gun in your mouth? There's not to prove your methods. Yeah? Well, you're not from Chicago. I want you to find this dance. Kelly with Chicago Movie Tours and today I'm standing in front of Chicago's Union Station with both some good news and some bad news. The good news is it's Untouchables week here at Chicago Movie Tours so if you are a fan of Kevin Costner, Sean Connery, Robert De Niro, 1980s movies, mobster stories, 1930s films, or Chicago architecture then this is the week for you. We are interested in Chicago's Union Station today because that is where the Untouchables most famous sequence, the shootout on a staircase during which a baby carriage rolls down the stairs the entire time takes place. The bad news is that because of COVID-19, Union Station has closed certain entrances and interior locations, including the Great Hall where the Untouchables staircase sequence was filmed. But we're still going to make this work, and even more exciting, during our time together today, we're going to learn some significant bits of cinema history. Number one, where the film's director, Brian De Palma, got the idea for that staircase sequence. Number two, how many other movies have copied it and the original? And number three, what these repeated representations on screen might mean. Filmed in the summer of 1986, Brian De Palma's The Untouchables highlights much of downtown Chicago and its historic architecture. Written by playwright David Mamet, the movie centers on a team of federal agents tasked with bringing to justice 1930s mobster Al Capone. Several landmark Chicago buildings are featured in The Untouchables, but the most memorable is Chicago's Union Station, in which a shootout erupts across a staircase as a baby carriage rolls down the steps, ultimately making its way to safety. This sequence from The Untouchables put Chicago's Union Station on Hollywood's map. But it's not the first to tell this story of a baby in peril on a staircase, and as we'll see momentarily, it's not the last. The Untouchable Sequence was inspired by Battleship Potemkin, a 1925 film from the Soviet Union whose editing at the time was considered daring, dynamic, and innovative. As you can see, a young mother is shot and falls. Her baby carriage begins to roll down the stairs. Witnesses look on, powerless and horrified. And because the director gives us no establishing shots to tell us where each character is located in relationship to the other, we are also relatively helpless in our viewing. And just as the carriage makes its way to the bottom of the stairs and begins to flip over, the filmmaker cuts to a soldier striking directly at us. The sequence fades out and we have no idea of the baby's fate, although it does not appear to be good. In The Untouchables, Brian De Palma clearly pays homage to Battleship Potemkin, but his editing style and camera work for that matter differ drastically. Here, we know where each character is in relationship to the other and the baby on the staircase, and we know the baby's fate. We are theoretically more at ease with this viewing. Since Battleship Potemkin, several filmmakers have incorporated the baby carriage motif in their work, some satirically and some terrifyingly. For example, the 1985 movie Brazil satirizes Battleship Potemkin's famous scene by replacing the stroller with a vacuum cleaner, 
suggesting its death is as tragic as that of an infant. As well, the 1994 American comedy Naked Gun 33 and a Third, The Final Insult, opens with a parody of the untouchable staircase scene and therefore Battleship Potemkins. As is the case with most film spoofs, several stereotypes are used in this sequence. And it's always a bit odd to be reminded that O.J. Simpson once starred in movies. A 1974 French TV commercial for a department store also parodies Battleship Potemkin. A King Kong-like character rampages through Paris as a baby carriage rolls down a staircase. Finally, we see this motif repeated in Joshua, a 2007 film about a nine-year-old boy who has murderous impulses toward his parents and his newborn sister. Joshua! Believe it or not, several more films, and TV series for that matter, incorporate baby carriages in dangerous situations. In the film short, Grips, Grunts, and Groans, the Three Stooges knock over a baby in a baby carriage and use the commotion of the two women panicking over it to hide from those chasing them. Oh, you poor darling. Are you all right? Are you all right? Where was she? The French Connection also features the motif during its chase sequence. The same goes for the 1994 thriller, Speed. And in 1989, Ghostbusters 2 opens with a runaway baby carriage through New York City traffic. Okay, so why do so many movies incorporate baby carriages in dangerous situations like The Untouchables? Number one, it's a quick and easy way to communicate innocence. In general, babies automatically symbolize innocence. Number two, perhaps, it's a quick and easy way to represent maternal love. After all, most of the baby carriages in these films have mothers attached to them. That image immediately suggests to Western audiences notions of caring and protection, whether that's justifiable or not. And number three, it gets a visceral reaction from the audience. Placing an innocent baby and mother in a corrupt place and time automatically incites in moviegoers a feeling of uncertainty. For The Untouchables director Brian De Palma specifically, it's all about the setup. Quote, it's the anticipation, he says, the waiting for something that's going to happen, the dread. That's where the artistry is involved. Well, that does it for today's walking tour Wednesday. I hope you learned some interesting tidbits about the untouchables, even though we could not go inside and view the great hall. And I hope to see you back here next Wednesday for another virtual walking tour.